Hi guys, my name is Hannah Renee and this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, homemaking, all of the above. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. We are doing my monthly reset routine video. I share how I go grocery shopping only once a month, how I plan for the month, meal planning, all of those productivity things so let's jump right on into this video it's grocery shopping day so if you don't know i mainly only go grocery shopping once a month then i will do like a little grocery shop if i need it for like fruit veggies and random things milk i'm doing my monthly grocery shop i'm going with my mom to costco and i use her membership i'm gonna do my grocery inventory and show you it truthfully i look busted and crusted because I started my period this morning and I just it knocked me out I woke up at six and I was like excited for a productive day and then I just got knocked out man so I'm still making it through that's why I look like this but we're going to Costco I have no one to impress so Let's do this grocery inventory. I'll show you how I do it. So first I will go through our pantry, make sure that we have our necessities like rice, pasta, chips. I mean like tortilla chips, all of our cans, olive oil, all that. And then I have this cute little planner list thing from Target. You should get it from Target. And that's what I'll write everything on. I got my list right here. It's actually not as long as I thought it would be. And I threw out all the old food, anything that was not edible. <laughs> Another thing that I do is I pay for our groceries in cash. This just helps me stay in our budget when I do it this way. However, Costco normally costs more than if I go to other places just because you're buying in bulk. So I put a little extra in this envelope and that's the plan. So I'm waiting for my mom to get here and then we're gonna go to the store. I should be fine for the next few weeks at least before there's random things that I run out of. I also have to go to the bank 
gotta go to the post office and that's it i just got back from running errands i don't know why my face looks really red right now this is strange and i am going to do my planning for march so first let's do a little recap on february i did a recent video last month so if you saw that this is kind of just what the month ended up looking like i put obviously all of the events here we had some goals little rewards for those goals and i did not do very good I kind of broke off on my habit that I was trying to build this month, which was to crowd out caffeine with other drinks, water, other things. I wanted to have only one caffeinated drink a day, and I did not stick with that, so that's a bummer. My book of the month for February was Love in Other Words, which I did read. I'll talk more about that in a second. Car savings goal. We're doing good on our car savings goal, and then I have all of these tasks i didn't complete a lot of them but a few of them are just like things i could do today so i'll feel a little bit better once i get a few things done later today so almost there almost there but let's go on to march the book that i'm reading right now is fourth wing so i want to finish that and once i finish fourth wing i don't know how long it's gonna take me I plan on jumping into The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes to continue that series of The Inheritance Games. It's a great series. Our car savings goal is going pretty well. I'm pretty much almost saved up to the number that we need. We're putting a down payment on a newer used car. Not like a brand new car, but we're going to put a down payment on a car. So I'm pretty much just in the waiting game because, long story, but it's really not smart to buy a car until May because of tax return season. Car lots will bump up their prices. So we're waiting until May to get a car. My goal for this month is going to be to not go on my phone for at least the first 30 minutes in the morning. I just got a hatch alarm clock dupe. I will show a picture of it here. And so far, I really like it. It's really been helpful. And I want to not go on my phone for the first 30 minutes. And with this alarm clock, now my alarm is not on my phone. So it should be easier to complete this goal. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go maybe sit at the table and do this, but I'm gonna write out any events, write out my goal, and write out my rewards for that goal. I'll share the rewards after I write this all out. So this is what I did for March. Put in important dates. I put in our goals here. I put in two rewards. So the first one after one week of doing my new goal will be I need hanging macrame. You know what I'm talking about? And you put a plant pot in it. I need one of those hangers so <laughs> that's my reward then my month-long reward is curtains for our bedroom I put here some of my tasks most of these are just spring cleaning tasks a little bit about our dog that we want getting ready for California because I'm going to California in 
a week, I think, and some like side hustle things. So that's kind of the month overview. I did a review of February. My planner automatically has this. So you put personal wins, what I learned, important goals met, ways I took care of myself, connected with, I will always remember, key purchases made, and I'm grateful for. So I just filled that out. Don't think you really care, so I won't go over it. Then I meal planned for the rest of this week and next week before I go to California. Today we're gonna have Parmesan crusted chicken, mashed potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. Tomorrow I'm going to hang out with family, so Alex on his own. Saturday, baked potatoes. Sunday I'm gonna do this spaghetti casserole that's in a crock pot. I found it on Pinterest. Try to do easy recipes on Sundays. Monday we're gonna do leftover chicken in this pasta with asparagus tuesday's day night wednesday is burgers and then thursday is when i leave so just kind of planned all that out so that i don't have to think about it i never did show you a little grocery haul but here is all of our meats that we freeze all of their meat down here ground beef chicken bacon all that this is like other miscellaneous things, quicker things. This garlic shrimp is for quick dinner nights, burgers, tater tots, all that. We have some taquitos and berries because I make a lot of smoothie bowls. Our fridge is pretty stocked now. We have milk. This is leftovers up here. Fruits, veggies, cheese, salami, eggs, yogurt, sour cream, cheese, drinks, then our bread and more veggies. Got all of the condiments over here. Although I didn't really need to stock those. And then the pantry is all stocked. We love seeing things full. I'm not gonna go through all this cause that would just be a lot, but you get the idea. I'm gonna wash and put away the veggies and fruit that I got from the local market. This is kale. I got Brussels sprouts. I got cucumbers. Bananas, which I can just put away here. Tomatoes. And some local honey. So I'm gonna do that and while I'm doing that I'm gonna tell you my January favorites. So I only read one book this month which was Love in Other Words. That was my Valentine's Day book and honestly I loved the storyline. It was a second chance trope so they were together when they were younger and broke up and they're having a second chance when they were older and it was very cute and I loved it. It was a little bit more spicy for my taste. Don't necessarily love that. So just a fair warning if you're going to read it, just be prepared for that. There's only two scenes that I remember that I don't recommend reading all the way through. So. That was my only book. Now let's talk about the show that we're watching. So we are watching Superstore on Hulu. Honestly, we kind of just tried it on a whim. We didn't know if it'd be very good, but turns out it is so funny. We love watching it. We're already in season four and there's six seasons. I'm cutting cucumbers if you didn't know what I was doing while I was talking about that. While I am breaking up this lettuce so that it's easy for us to use. I want to share two movies that we watched this month and my thoughts on them. First, we watched Dune, the first one, just in time for the second one, which we're going to see tonight. So the first one was pretty crazy, pretty intense. It was good as far as like sci-fi action movies go. I would probably rate it 3.5 out of 5. We'll see how the next one is. The other movie that we watched was Divergent. I really just kind of was craving 
watching this movie just because I read the books and watched them when they came out so I wanted to go through that experience again. The first one is great. I like the first one but the reviews for the next two they just progressively get worse and worse so we'll see as we keep watching but the last thing I want to show you is my hatch alarm clock dupe that I just started using. I've only used it for a few days but I'm already obsessed with it so I want to recommend it to you. Let's go upstairs. Here's my new alarm clock. It is very aesthetic looking. I know it doesn't look like the hatch one but the look really doesn't matter to me. It's the function. So up here is all of the buttons. You have the alarm clock, the volume, choosing your sounds. This is the light. So you have all these different light options. Then you can turn that off. It displays the time here. This clock means I have an alarm set. There's nighttime noises right there for brown noise, ocean waves, things like that. And honestly, I love it. I recommend, I'll link it down below. I think it's worth it. Only $30 too, not $200 like the hatch is because that is just outrageous. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you. If you like reset routines, productivity videos, watch. I don't know what side it's going to be on, but I think it's this one watch this video. I will see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys!